What should we do when it comes to anything to do with electrical? Call a licensed electrical contractor, make sure they have a notification of work, and go to our ESA website to verify that they're a licensed electrical contractor. So there's your ticket right there. If you go to ESA's website and you, ch you don't see their license number on it, it means they're not a licensed electrical contractor and should not be working in your home. That is the safest way possible. Here's something that I loved when it came into force, I don't know, around 20 years ago in the neighborhood, and you can correct me if you'd like, when it came to electrical in your home, you, the homeowner, are responsible for your house. You can be fined by ESA. The contractor who does the work, who does it incorrectly, can be fined by the ESA. As far as I'm concerned, I would like to see structural fines, plumbing fines, heating fines. There isn't gas. There isn't gas. For electrical purposes, making sure you have peace of mind for you and your family is getting a permit, having ESA come in, and confirm that it was done properly. It's just safe for you, it's safe for the kids, and it's for a good reason.